Hey everybody, recently I finished 90 days of practice, online practice, where I showed you what 90 days of practice looks like. I ranged in practice time recording, right, about 20 minutes to um, an hour and 15, somewhere in there. Offline, I also practiced and did a lot there too. Now, having said all that, what does what it all mean? mean? The reason I did it was because I get so tired of, of people thinking that everything happens like that. So when you want to learn a skill, you should be able to pick it up like that. And that's not the way it is. You get the kid who can't do anything and then 30 seconds later after a video montage, he's, he's the best that ever was. He's the chosen one. <laughs> And that's just not the way it is in real life. So we are in my studio today to talk about what I learned after 90 days of violin practice. It's important when you're practicing, this is just in general, remove all distractions. I had quite a few times where my little puppy made things really, really hard. Are you chewing on the chair? Serious? He's eating my furniture. I, oop. <laughs> but that's okay. So one of the things I learned was when you're playing to have firm but light. When you press down, it should meet the fingerboard or close to it but not smash your finger down. And I forever had some calluses because I have a bad habit now of mashing my fingers <laughs> into the board, which is not a good thing to do. Any tension you have is going to make it harder, either in your bowing hand or in this hand or in your shoulders, or in your neck, or in your stance, or in your knees. <laughs> you can't have tension. And this is true of pretty much any instrument, including the voice. Tension is your enemy, always has been, always will be. However, I do still believe that when you're first initially learning something, tension is gonna creep in because you're concentrating and you're trying so hard. So try to relax and then you can move forward. When I was learning, my bow hold was, and I learned this from Michael Sanchez, who heads up the Violin Tutor Pro channel. I had other teachers tell me, just have your hand hang loose and then put your hand in there and use your pinky as the counterweight. Well, that's great, but then I didn't know how to make good contact with the strings and everything, and I was getting harmonic dissonance and all kinds of stuff. It wasn't until I watched Michael Sanchez where he said, make sure you're pushing down with the index finger. You're not locking your thumb. Your pinky's the counterweight. These two are on here. You can still move everything, but when you're playing, that the, the index finger is the one controlling and giving you the pressure. And that will help you have a good bowing hand as far as, and a little more control because that was what I was missing. The next thing was, if you want to learn something quickly, start by playing it slowly. Don't try to play it at speed right away. Play it slowly, then increase your speed because then you won't make as many mistakes when you're playing fast. It'll be easier in the long run. So I didn't always follow that. That was really hard to learn. This was so hard for me. I struggled with where to put my shoulder rest on my shoulder and how to hold the violin with my chin for at least a year, probably a year and a half. And I finally got it to the point where I'm comfortable. But I tried all kinds of shoulder rests. I had my violin up like this. I had my violin down like this. I had it more in front. I had it in the back. Just trying to find a, a comfortable position. It was so hard. But I finally, finally figured it out what feels good. And then the string crossings. Oh 
I still struggle with string crossings. I learned some good exercises, which admittedly I don't do all the time. I really need to, which will also help you with the straight bow. If you don't want to hit the other strings, playing like this, having your bow crooked in either direction, you're going to hit the other strings because you're not going to have any everything straight. You really want to focus on that straight bowing so it doesn't become a problem. Here are the YouTubers that I learned from during the 90 days. Fiddlehead, Two Sets, Eddie Chen, The Online Piano and Violin Tutor, Violin Tutor Pro, that's Michael Sanchez, Violin Labs, Beth Blackerby, Ishta Perlman, Violin Class with Julia Bushkova, Nicola Benedetti, Daniel Kurganov, and my own channel. So let me just go over this. Each one had things that helped me with violin playing, but there were a few that stood out and helped me the most. So this is the one, the Violin Tutor Pro, which is Michael Sanchez's channel. He was, like I said before, helped me with my bow hold. Huge, huge step for me. Violin Labs, Beth Blackerby helped me with a number of different things. Um, vibrato. However, I will say vibrato was a really difficult thing for me. One of the things that she talks about is like a salt shaker and that helped me a lot. The sliding finger technique that some teachers talk about, uh, that didn't help me very much. In fact, it caused problems for me later on. So I have, and I'm currently trying to unlearn the sliding finger to get it so that it's more rocking and quavering. Daniel Kurganov has um, more intermediate and advanced um, violin stuff, but definitely worth watching. He knows his stuff and really beautiful player. And then myself. So what was great about watching myself is that I could go back and look at the ones that I did maybe last night, the night before, and I could see my mistakes and then I could correct them. So that's how I figured out that my bowing was so messed up. I know that I still hit other strings. I do have some issues with intonation not because I can't hear when I'm off pitch but because when you are learning the violin and you are learning where to put your fingers it's kind of subjective especially if your violin's out of tune but all of this stuff comes with time none of this stuff should be an overnight thing I am approaching this as an adult student I do not have a teacher per se. I'm learning online and I'm learning from YouTubers. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope that you guys, if you want to, check out the 90 days of violin playing that I did. It was grueling, but worth it. So have a great day, you guys. God bless.